everybody my name is cadet and today I'm going to be doing something new that I haven't done on my channel before I'm gonna do a Pokemon card opening and I recently got into Pokemon cards about a year ago I started collecting uh, some of the newer sets I had a, a few cards from back in the day when I semi-collected I had some from base set to jungle fossil you know, the wizards of the coast sets and throughout this year I've really bulked up my collection by collecting for the newer sets I've been opening some of the newer products so I wanted to preserve uh, the experience of opening the cards uh, so I thought what better way to do that than to make videos and put them on YouTube so I can share them with everybody and I'd be able to go back and look at them myself too so uh, this should be fun um, today I'm gonna be opening up an elite trainer box from uh, the generations collection from X and Y this was um, the generation set was released as part of the 20th anniversary of the Pokemon TCG and these boxes aren't cheap now since it's the anniversary uh, edition this one ran me about a hundred dollars on eBay and like ten dollars for shipping so like a hundred and ten dollars just for this one elite trainer box nowadays elite trainer boxes go for forty dollars retail so it's really went up in value and obviously because it's the 20th anniversary however this was a birthday present so it's kind of not <laughs> a major expense it was a birthday present for my wife so um so throughout the year I've been collecting all the elite trainer boxes that I can and I'm gonna cut here and we'll see how this goes this is the first video I've done of this so I think I'm gonna cut here and show you my collection of elite trainer boxes up to this point Okay, so up to this point, these are the Elite Trainer Boxes that I've collected. Uh, just four of them. Um, I am on a budget, so... Uh, but I have collected these four. The first two are from Breakthrough. Uh, and this is kind of the cutoff point before the... If you go any further back than these ones, the Elite Trainer Boxes start getting a little bit expensive. So... Uh, and these were the first ones, or the, the earliest ones I could find that were still available on Amazon at the time. So we've got this uh, one from X and Y Breakthrough. And this one, I believe these are both forms of Mewtwo on the cover here. Uh, those two. And I kind of went all out on Unified Minds. I even bought a booster box of it. But this is the Elite Trainer box of Unified Minds. Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon, so it makes sense that I would kind of gravitate towards the ones with him on the cover. And then I, I also kind of went all out on Hidden Fates. So this is the Elite Trainer Box for Hidden Fates. Um, really cool uh, uh, promo card that came in that one. That was the, the one of the three legendary birds. You can kind of see it right there. Right. And uh, so after I open the uh, Generations Elite Trainer box today, that'll be a total of five that I've got in my collection. So now let's take a look at what's included in the box. I'm just going to flip this around so we can see the back. And so you can see here you get a... Uh, Let's see, a foil promo card of Shaman EX. It's pretty cool. 10 Pokemon Generation Booster Packs. 10 is good. I think Hidden Fates came with 10 as well. Usually 
they come with eight. So that's a bump up. So that's good. Uh, and then standard with all the Elite Trainer boxes, you get some sleeves. This one comes with 65 black and gold card sleeves with the Pokemon 20th logo. Uh, you get a pack of energy cards, a player's guide. I always enjoy the player's guide because it, it shows you all the cards in the set to collect. And they usually come with some dice, so some six damage counter dice and then one com competition legal coin flip die. And you also get the condition markers for poison and burn. Um, the collector's box itself with dividers. Um, and then a code card for the online Pokemon traded card game. And here's a kind of a picture of everything. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. Uh, probably should have gotten a letter opener for this. Um, I will be right back. Okay, I couldn't find a letter opener, so I just settled for scissors. But let's go ahead and get into this thing. Be very careful, unlike some other uh, YouTubers, <laughs> not to be named. I like to preserve the packaging, so just try and open this up gingerly here. design and it's got looks like a bunch of the probably all the starters up to that point um, up to the generation set and in the back here we've got the player's guide let's take a quick peek at this thing very nice looking Okay, so there's the, what must be the four pack arts, the four starters in Pikachu. Okay. Okay, that is a different energy card design I have not seen yet so and are those numbered yes so those are actually part of the set so that is cool I don't have any of those yet okay so here's a list of the cards um, they're in order by energy by type I think this guy is the one that you want to pull Mega Charizard EX. In my videos, I plan on, uh, before I open the packs, I plan on doing like a summarization of what I need to pull and what are the big cards um, that we're looking for. That way, um, before we open, you guys know what, what cards we're looking for. That's a pretty cool Zapdos right there. Articuno. Looks like the legendary birds are full arts. Probably a more trace on this page. Next page. Oh no, I don't see one. Must just be Zapdos and Articuno. Oh, it's probably earlier. Here it is. Um, no, it's not there. Huh. I have to look at that. It's funny you would include two of them and not the other.
cool looking cards here. You have Flareon. That's a cool looking Pikachu card. Advertisements. Okay, so that's the, uh, the booklet, player's guide. Let's continue on with the box here. Dividers here. Set those aside. Okay. Kind of a jumbled mess here, but here are the sleeves. Very cool looking logo there on gold. Set that aside. Here's the Shaman EX card. This is a uh, X and Y Primo 148. Very nice. Just sorting through here. It's kind of a jumbled mess. Here's a couple of the uh, card separators. Go on the back or the front, and then the generations on the back. Here's the energies. Yeah, look at that energy design. So they give you a pack of the generations energies, even though they're part of the numbered set. So that is pretty nice. So I'm almost guaranteed that. I'll have all the energies. And something that I should probably point out um, for the viewers. For my collection, I collect two of every card. So I'll collect um, my first copy and I'll put those in a, a binder by set. And then the second copy that I collect, I'll put in another binder, and I put those in by Pokemon number, so Pokedex number. So I'll have like Bulbasaur, Venusaur, uh, or Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur on one page, and then the next page would be, I think it's Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, and so on and so forth all the way up through the most recent Pokemon. And I'll keep like the uh, evolutions together. So most recently we had um, Farfetch'd uh, in Sword and Shield. There's an evolution of Farfetch'd called Surfetch'd. So rather than putting Surfetch'd on his own page, I would, I would just put him with Farfetch'd. And I can go in more detail when I go over the packs and what cards that I need in my collection up to this point. So here's the the dice. It's pretty cool. They got the the logo. So as the one, I guess, is the logo. I need to do a better job of keeping this stuff in front of the camera. And the condition coins. Uh, you get that pretty much with every single trainer box. So I've got several of those. I do collect the. I do collect all the coins. So any coins that come in the products, I'll keep one of each of those, as well as the jumbo cards, and eventually my open up something that has one of the uh, jumbo cards in it, I'll go over my jumbo card collection. Um, I collect the pins, so all kinds of stuff we can get into here. So here are the packs. 
Yeah, so we got uh, one of each here. Uh, another thing that I collect is I always keep one sealed pack of each artwork from each set. So I have never opened up a Generations pack, so I will keep one of each of these artworks sealed. And here in a minute I'll show you my sealed collection so far. So those ones I'll keep sealed. So we'll have these other six packs to open. So now I'd like to go ahead and cut again. I'm going to show you my Generations collection up to this point, which doesn't consist of much. I've got maybe a couple cards that I have received through like a bulk eBay order that I bought early on when I was collecting. I have, like I said, I never opened up anything from Generations, so this, this will pro probably be all the cards um, that I open I will be putting into my collection, except the duplicates that I get today. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, and we'll see you back here to do the opening. Okay guys, so this is the extent of my uh, generation set collection to this point. Like I, uh, like I predicted, I've only got a couple cards right now, so uh, I got the double colorless energy and uh, actually I got the Charmeleon from the Radiant Collection, so. Any cards other than these two are going to go into the collection. They'll be brand new to me. So, looking to make a lot of uh, progress on generations today. Okay, and also, guys, some of the cards we're going to be looking for today. I mean, you can see my collection thus far. I hardly have any of the cards, so I'm looking for almost all of them. But some of the heavy hitters, um, there's really only one that is going for a little bit of money. There's a Mega Charizard EX that goes for around 20 bucks. And then, other than that, there's some uh, Eeveelution. So there's a Vaporeon EX, a Leafeon EX. There's a Flareon EX Full Art. Uh, Jolteon EX. There's a, another Charizard EX. There's a Charizard from the Radiant Collection as well, and a Mega Blastoise EX, and then there's some others uh, as well, but all of those go for around 4 or $5, so nothing too crazy, but those are the, the heavy hitters we're going to be looking for today. So we've got six Generations packs to open. Looks like we've got two of each of the Venusaur um, pack art, two of each of the Blastoise one Pikachu, and I'm going to save this Charizard for last. So we're looking for that Mega Charizard EX. That's the big card here, so without further ado, let's get into these packs. So first up, Venusaur. And I haven't done this much. I haven't opened packs on camera very much, and I like to keep the packaging as pristine as possible, so I'm sorry, but I probably won't be as quick as others. And these must not come with a code card. I think the card trick for these is three. From the back. All right, so I apologize for the slowness here, but we got a Shroomish, Pokemon Center Lady, Shauna, Slowpoke. Magmar, Ghastly, 
Okay, you can do get an energy card. So fire energy. There we go. Starting out with a good pull here. A reverse rare Hitmonlee. And the final card is a Frostlass. Okay, so we got RC8 of RC32. That's actually... Oh, this isn't the final card. Okay. That's right. So they have the subset. I'll have to... I probably already mentioned it, but we'll have to see what the RC stands for. But Frostlass, that is a holographic, I believe. And we have... The rare is Snorlax, non-holographic. So that was a pretty good first pack. It's interesting to see these cards. I haven't opened these before, so it's nice to see new cards. Okay, next pack, Blastoise. Yeah, no code cards in these, so this is like... They either didn't do it for this set, or this is pre-putting a code card with each pack. And three from the back. Alright, here we go. Uh, Wabuffet. Evo Soda. Pokemon Center Lady, Meowth, another Slowpoke, Ooh, looks like a small set, 83 non-secret cards, and then you got that subset, so it probably will be a few duplicates, Tangela, Rhyhorn, got a Reverse Common and Clefairy, A Swirlix. Again, I don't know the story behind these, this subset, so it looks like there's like a design behind each of these, and then the background of the artwork is like glossy. So that is pretty neat. Neat thing to collect for. And the final card is a holographic Gengar. Very nice. Alright, next pack is the Pikachu pack art. Chikorita, that's actually one of the subset cards. So they're not necessarily that second to last card every time. Revitalizer, Energy Switch, Lightning Energy. I, lo I do love that energy design. Doduo, Shelter. Another energy, metal energy. We got a reverse shelter. I think. Okay. Okay, we got a Flareon EX full art. That is part of that subset. So RC28 out of 32. And the final card, the rare is a Hitmonchan non holographic. Very nice, very nice flurry on there. Okay, next is another Venusaur pack art.
right. And we have a Flabebe. Mr. Mime. It seems like the majority of the cards are first generation cards, but there are a few sprinkled in there, like the Flabebe. Pokemon Fan Club. Water Energy. Magic Carp, Ponyta, um, Chop. We got a Reverse Mr. Mime. That's an uncommon. All right, and we got the Charizard from the subset. It's a cool looking card. It's got one of the trainers on it. I don't know if it's supposed to be red or we'll have to look that up. And the final card, ooh, Mega Blastoise EX. Sorry, I just noticed, uh, it's probably drifting off camera there, but there's the Charizard. And here's the Mega Blastoise EX. That's probably one of the top cards you wanna pull. Okay, and we got the Blastoise, second Blastoise pack art. This is the second to last pack. I need to do a better job of keeping the cards on camera here, so I apologize. Again, this is like my first rodeo, so bear with me. looking Raichu to start out. So we got a Raichu. Clement. Team Flare Grunt. A Machop. A Lightning Energy. A Shelter. Fairy. Gonna reverse Zubat, which is a common. Okay, and then a Meow Stick for the subset. And the final card is a non holographic Jinx. Just giving you a wink there. Alright, and now for the final pack. Gonna hope to pull that Mega Charizard out of this Charizard pack. Alrighty. Final pack, let's hope for some last pack magic here. We got a Fletchling. Machoke, that is a sweet looking Machoke. Is he in a waterfall or something? A Clefable. Oh, my bad. Geodude. Water type energy. Krabby, Ghastly, and Paris is a reverse common. We got a Floet from the subset, and the final card, non holographic pincer. Okay, now for a summarization of what we pulled today. Uh, first, we had the uh, reverse rare Hitmonlee. We had the rare hollow Gengar. This was the Shaman EX that was the promo card. We had the Mega Blastoise EX. And then from uh, 
the subseries, I did a little research. The RC at the bottom stands for Radiant Collection. And uh, all of the uncommons are the ones that have the uh, holo, holo foil uh, background. So I just wanted to show you the uncommons I pulled of those. So I got the Charizard one. Frostlass. Meowstic and Floet and Swirlix and then possibly the best uh, pool of the day between this one and the Mega Blastoise EX was the Flareon EX from the Radiant Collection. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Cadet and until my next video, take care of yourselves. See ya! Thank you.